it is uh what day is it it is december the 15th um i am officially kicking off another wedding vlog with you guys this is wedding vlog number five <laughs> i think i think so yeah uh, wedding vlog number five. We're going to be confident in that answer. Um, and we actually just did something super exciting today. Um, I actually just picked up my wedding shoes. So on Friday, um, December the 9th, I took my wedding shoes to get them um, engraved at the tongue. And so I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So each shoe looks different. I am going to have to clean the shoe though. Um, like take it like a wet rag because it has like some green little fuzzy stuff um, and so yeah but this is the shoe y'all <laughs> I love it so I put the date on one um, I initially was trying to get writing on the side of the shoes um, but they told me that I wasn't able to do that so yeah um, so this is the date on this one and then this is the other one, um, and it says Miss Riley. So that is what that looks like. Um, and then we have shoe screens coming in the mail, so I'll be changing out the shoe screens as well. So it's Miss Riley and the date. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I think all of this was 17. Um, so that actually wasn't as bad. Um, compared to going to uh, Etsy and trying to get it pre-ordered and made and all that other stuff. So I actually came out a lot cheaper. Um, also, update, um, Friday, December the 9th, the same day, um, I went and picked up my wedding dress. Me and Emmanuel both was off, so he was with me when I went to go get my dress. Um, and I had put it in the trunk and everything, and now it's in my office on the back of the door. Um, and he better not be peeking or anything like that, but my mama wanted me to get my dress, make sure it still fits, so it does, and it loosened up a little bit. So, kudos to that. I'm trying to think of, like, other updates. Oh, um, I did order my wedding veil from Amazon. What else did I order from Amazon? Let me pull up the Amazon order. Um, just so that I can tell you guys. Oh, so we had to send back, so we sent back the, well, I'm going to send back the other flower girl dress, the one that had the white, um, and then the green lace. I'll put it here in the, um, video so that you guys can see the one that we sent back, which, which was one of the options that they tried on. I think I posted it on Instagram. And I did put in the caption that that is not the flower girl dress. I won't show the flower girl dress until the wedding day. Um, but, yeah, I ordered the flower girl dress, the second flower girl dress. Um, and I also ordered my garter, my garter, um, the shoelaces for the shoes, the flower girl shoes, the veil. And I think that's it. It just feels like I'm missing something. But, yeah, I ordered that. And then I also am ordering stuff from Etsy. So I think the last time we maybe had a conversation, I had ordered the name sign, but I don't think I actually showed it in the wedding vlog. Um, so I'm going to show it this time around. So when I get home, I'm going to show you guys everything that we have um, so far. We also got stuff coming in from our wedding registry. We got like maybe three or four gifts that have came in so far um, that's coming in from my wedding registry. Um, and then I'm ordering some things off of Etsy. I'm making sure that I get the signs and stuff done. I'm going to do the menu cards tonight, get that sent over so it can get printed. So I am doing all of that to make sure that we are on track for everything. Like literally, we are... 24 days, 21 hours, and 8 minutes um, away from the big day. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. So, another update about that, like, my nerves, I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but my nerves have been, like, extremely terrible. Like, I just, I don't know what's going on, but today was a little bit better than the most days. Um, today was a little simmer, and then, like, I've been kind of scared to eat as well because, my stomach has just not been my best friend. If this is too much information, I'm sorry. But 
that's just an update. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we are slowly getting everything together. Um, I wrote my wedding vows today at work. Well, some of them. I, it's probably going to be longer. I don't think we're going to actually do wedding vows um, at the ceremony. So we might just do it like in our private time or just kind of like send it to each other or whatever the case may be. Because we are doing like a gift exchange on the wedding day. I'm excited about my gift, though. I I'm ready for him to see what this gift looks like. Uh, I think it's going to make him laugh. It's definitely an inside joke. So when he gets the gift and he sees it, he's going to be like, yo, like, she is wrong for this. Um, but, yeah, that's that. I feel like I'm, I'm missing so much. I need to update you guys on. But, like I said, I'll just show um, everything that we got from the wedding um so far like with the things that we've done for the wedding so far i'll show that when i get to the house um oh also like so i think i mentioned this in my last wedding vlog at the end before it closed out that we had to redo the charges well my daddy's supposed to be doing them because he's the one that made us sand them down and do all that stuff and he still has not spray painted the chargers you guys like he is stressing me out i'm like can he please spray paint the chargers because I literally like am ready to have all of that stuff done like the cart the coffee bar cart like I'm like can you please do what you're supposed to do can you paint that or do I need to paint it it's supposed to be painted white I'm just like yo he's stressing me out so that hasn't been done yet hopefully it gets done this weekend because my pressure cannot take it like my nerves is already bad like I'm already like oh, I just need to do xyz I need to do this I need to do that um so yeah Oh, also, RSVPs have came in. We've closed it off. So, our, like, we've invited, like, over 75 people, but only 75 people. No, we invited, yeah, we invited over 75 people. My max was actually 60, but I didn't want to be, like, rude or anything and cut people. But we we topped it off at 75 because we were like, listen, no. We're not going over 75. And then people were trying to put RSVPs in after the RSVP date. Nope. Like, I know that sounds mean. And people are probably, girl, why are you being so rude about it? But listen, y'all, like, when you have, like, catering and everything that you have to get done, like, you have to be mean, especially when you're a month out from your wedding. Like, you have to be very stern. Um, and so that's that. So yeah, we've done 75 people. Um, so that's how many people are coming to the wedding. So we actually, ha I would say it's about 77. Um, but we're only going to probably set up for 70, 75. I don't know. My sister made that decision. Um, I actually just paid her for the flowers, for her to get the flowers today. Um, and then what else we got left oh we got to pay the photographer videographer so i'll pay that on my next check so me and man you'll go half on that um and then my mom is actually going to finish off the caterer because the extra numbers came because she kept pushing me to invite people so yeah she's going to finish off the caterer the numbers went up the number on the caterer went up so she like girl i was like i told y'all i told y'all they add two taxes in there when they're doing the invoice they add like um because we're going with hudson's catering so they add a lexington tax and a hospitality tax <laughs> i think i mentioned that in one of my vlogs so i was like yes yeah, y'all thought i was playing i told y'all but when i get to the house i'll show you guys other stuff that we got uh, after i picked up my wedding shoes i came to starbucks and even though this is a wedding vlog, I'm still going to tell you guys about it. This is the sugar cookie, ice sugar cookie um, latte. But instead of almond milk, I did oat milk, light ice, blonde espresso, two cups of raspberry, and add a little bit of apple drizzle to it. And some cold foam, vanilla cold foam. So this is my little ice drink. It's so good. So, so good. The hot one is actually really good, too. So I was like, ooh, I always, let me try, like, the cold one. And so today I chose to try the cold one. But I'm about to post my little, my little boomerang of my little drink here. And then head back to the house. So I'm about to put in, hold on, y'all. So I'm about to put in my GPS. 
how long it's going to take me to get back to the house because I'm over here in Harbison. So, oh, I didn't say where I got my shoes from. I got them from um, Crafts Creation. So it's a K. K instead of C, Craft. It's K, um, Craft Creation. So it's both spelled with K. Um, and I used them before for our anniversary shirts. So, you know, that was nice. So I used them for our anniversary shirts. Um, and I used them for my birthday shirt in the past, but at that time I wasn't doing YouTube and stuff. So, but I think last year was the time that I did the anniversary shirts and I did show it on YouTube when I was giving him like nine days of, um, anniversary gifting. So that's that. Um, so that's the same people. And then I'll probably come back over here and get us like some shirts made for our anniversary. Well, for our wedding, for our honeymoon and stuff, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head to the house and then I'll show you guys all of the good stuff and give you guys an update from there. So, yeah. So, I wanted to show you guys what my daddy was down here doing. So, these are the ones that are not finished. And then I'm assuming these are the ones that he are, he's doing, but he's sanding them down again. So, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's like spray painting and sanding again. <laughs> I don't know. But he got, he got his little project going. He got his little light bulb over here. He finally took out the cart so you guys can see what the cart looks like. But let me see. The light is kind of shining on it. But this is the cart. This is going to be the coffee bar. So we actually have our name sign. I'm going to show you guys that. But I'm thinking about putting it right here. Um, and then, of course, like the coffee things will go right here. All the toppings for the coffee will go probably on the bottom level or the pastries. I don't know. But this is the cart. I'm trying to show you guys at a good angle so you can, like, get a visual of it. Of course, you'll see more of it on wedding day. But we're painting this white. So he's officially taking it out. And remember, I said that we were going to use that backdrop. Well, I think that we're going to change that because it's just too much taken out. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are because you're not here. It's been way too long. I can lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you are safe And that I will see you soon If I can lay down beside you just put the shoe screens in the shoe um, but I didn't want to go all the way up because I didn't want to hide the tongue so this actually works out perfect love it I'm gonna go ahead and do the other shoes so they already be prepped and then I have to wipe the sides off because they have green stuff on it um, from I guess I don't know so yeah I just wanted to show you guys the shoe they're so cute I'm so excited I wanted to give you guys just a quick update on all of the stuff for the wedding uh we're 11 days away as you can see i don't look the best um I'm, I'm i probably sound terrible um i'm sick i haven't been feeling the best these last few months leading up to this wedding like it went from me being sick to me having stomach issues to me having back pain and still having back pain to now being sick again um 
So I've just been like, you know, maneuvering all the curves and just dealing with things as they come and go. Um, as you guys can see, I got my wedding shoes. They've been engraved. Um, I did the shoelaces. Um, my sister has been giving me updates on the flowers. And we painted the cart white. Um, so a lot of things have been taking place. Um, and we're just trying to maneuver. All of the vendors are paid off. So that's a good thing. Um, so we don't have to worry about any more vendors. I'm just literally getting miscellaneous items. Um, I had to send my veil back because it was too white. Um, and I went, I'm pretty much repurchasing an ivory one. So I'm going to purchase that tomorrow when I get paid. Everything should be here next week. Um, the posters that I got for the wedding, as far as the unplug and the welcome sign, um, I did the template on Etsy from Etsy. And then I got it printed through Canva thinking that it was going to come as a hardwood board poster. No, um, it did not. So I still have to get picture frames to put them in. Um, so I checked uh, Target. Target has them. They actually have them for $8. So... I am going to um, get that. The house is quiet. I'm the only one in here. I figured, why not show you guys all of the wedding stuff so that you can see it all at one time. Along well, couldn't like. So yeah, I figured, why not show you guys all of the wedding stuff so that you can see it all at one time? Because I just have so much. <laughs> So much to show you guys, um, and yeah, so let's get started on the show. All right, so I'm going to show you guys, I'm not going to be able to show the whole sign because you never brought me to take it out and then unroll it and all that good stuff. I don't feel like doing all that, but this is how the signs came. I thought they were going to come as a poster board mission bill, they did not. So, they came like in these boxes. So that's what that is. And then these are the shoes that we got from Amazon for Glower Girls. Um, Peyton already has her stuff and her dress over at her house. But these are the shoes. Um, and then I went back to Target and initially I was looking for these sides containers to put the pods in which reminds me that i did <coughs> sorry which reminds me i did um order the pods today for the keurig and an espresso machine um i also ordered the um bottle favors that i'm going to use to put the hot chocolate in because i'm making my own favors um I was going to go to Trader Joe's and get the favorite, the hot chocolate that I was going to use. Hopefully, they still got it. Um, but, yeah, this is... Oh, and I ordered my veil today. They reordered it from the last time. But this is one of the big containers that I was talking about. Um, and the pods are going to go in here. So, one is going to be on one side for the Nespresso machine. The other is going to be on the other side for the carry machine. Um... I don't know if you guys remember these, but they're not all the way spray painted like I thought they were. Um, but this is the little stands that um, she gave me. And if you guys remember, they were blue, but now I painted them black. But I need to redo this one because it's still blue in some areas. I think it was three of them. So we'll probably use it for the um, memorial table. But yeah, as you can see, like literally... It's still blue in some areas. Um, this is the flower girl dress right here. I'm trying to see everything else. <laughs> um, this is the sign that I have for the coffee bar. It says that coffee bar love is brewing, so I'll put it like prop it up. Um, I think I paid like six dollars for it. And it was on sale fifty percent off at Hobby Lobby, but initially it was twelve, so it had to be like five or six. The garter. Um, I showed you guys my shoes, but here they go right here. Um, and then I have other stuff that's in here. I'm gonna put this right here. 
So then I also got like an additional sign from Hobby Lobby and it says our little coffee bar open 24 seven. So like most of the stuff that I got for the coffee bar can be used again when we get our own place. Um, and then it also says hot chocolate bar. So I am gonna have hot chocolate packets for this to have at the wedding. Um, try not to put anything on my shoes, so. That is why you see me like the new word stuff a certain way. Um, this right here is from Etsy. This is our cake stand. Well, not our cake stand, but our cake topper. Um, I should have did black now that I think about it, but I didn't. Um, but I did like a gold type cake stand, and it just says Shenanigan in the nail. Um, it goes in right here, but I swear I went like the week that I have off, which is next week. I'm gonna come back here and kind of get everything organized, um, and positioned in a way to where it, it don't break or anything like that. Um, and so we make sure that you know we have everything together in a in a, a nice fashion. Uh, right now, my office is literally a mess. Um, I think I showed you guys the canvases before, but you guys didn't see it because we had painted black. So the inside is still red. We're not going to worry about that. We're just worried about the outside. Or we're not going to worry about the underneath portion because um, they don't have to get close-up pictures of everything. But the reason why I went with this too is because it has a little thing on the side. As you can see, I kind of like it black better anyway because it goes with this better. So that when we get our own place, we can always use it and I, I want black stuff. So, <coughs> sorry. It's perfect. Um, so, yeah. I'll probably do like the sugar packets in here or something. I don't know. And then, of course, you know, I told you guys in the last wedding vlog. Oh, this is the other canister. Um... And I have to go pick up an actual Target order. I was going to do it today. Um, but I'm just going to do it tomorrow. So that part of the Target order is not going to be in this video. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really not in the mood to go out. I feel terrible. But I'm pushing through, y'all. I'm pushing through. So I think I showed you guys this last time. But this is where the milk is going to go. And the creamers are going to go in here. Um, and then also we have this right here. That's the cocoa bar. So this is where the hot chocolate flavors are probably going to go in. Um, and then I'll use the canvases for the hot chocolate packets. Um, so I don't know. I'm still deciding on how I'm going to do that. Also, I didn't show you guys. Um, I showed you guys the guest book. So you guys know what that look like. We got another instant. Instamax mini um, camera, which I ordered the films today. I ordered my veil. So this is a rundown, rundown of everything I ordered. I ordered the Insta, uh, Insta mini films for the Polaroid camera. I ordered champagne glasses. It was $4 at Target. I think they're plastic, but it was four in a pack. They're gold and white. Well, gold trimming, so it's pretty. I liked it. Um, the only thing <coughs> I have to get is the cake cutting and flower girl baskets um but from target i ordered the insta films i ordered the wine glasses i ordered the bubbles for the send off and it was one more thing i feel like i ordered but i can't remember what it was my memory is bad right now and then from amazon i ordered reordered the veil i ordered um the mini bottles for the wedding favors for the hot chocolate i ordered um jeez Oh, the, the pods for the coffee. And I feel like I ordered something else, but I'm not sure. But we're going to go to the thrift store this weekend. And we're going to get the baskets from there. Because who got time? Because um, I was going to send them back to Amazon anyway. Um, and then also, I did not forget about you guys. But I know I mentioned showing you guys um, the wedding day invitations but this is to save the dates you guys already seen these um i still got like a few left but i gotta have some saved for the wedding itself so that the photographer now can take pictures with it and then 
Um, this is the actual invitation. Um, the menu cards, I'm actually going to get printed as well. So I might do like a little picture over here so that you guys can see what the menu cards look like. But this is the actual invitation. So it's simple. Um, we'll come forward so you guys can see the camera better. Let me hide where it's located. Uh, but yeah, this is like the main, the well, the invitations. They're simple, black and white. Um, this is the details on the back. So yeah, that's cute, simple. Um, the menu cards are going to literally look just like this, but they're going to look longer. Um, and there's only going to be one side. Initially, I was going to do the I Spy game. Um, but I think I'm just going to cancel that. I just mentally, I'm just like ready for it to be all over in a sense. Like I'm, I'm excited, but at the same time, it's just so many different things that have to be done. And I'm just kind of like over it, I guess because I'm sick too. So that could play a major, major part. Um, and then this is our actual name. So my sister's going to use this on the backdrop try to turn it around so as you guys can see it but this is it right here that's from etsy this is the rallies it is separated um so yeah i think that's everything as far as like stuff that has come in um i'm going to try to show you guys um oh here's my wedding dress hold on let me turn the camera around so i know i mentioned Ooh. Hold on, the camera is like fuzzy. I know I mentioned that my wedding dress is here. Here it is. <laughs> this is it right here. Um, so when I matched it up, the wedding veil with up with the dress, the dress is a little bit more ivory than white. So yeah, and then of course, you know that we're using this um and all that. And then this is stuff from wedding registry so we have three things that came in already um but now let me show you guys um i don't know if he did the charges but i know he spray painted the cart which i'm supposed to show you guys i'm trying to think that i'll show you guys everything i did <coughs> but i know that he said he was going to spray paint the chargers today um, if he did it i don't know but i know he spray painted the cart you guys are not going to be able to see it as much just because it's dark out here in this garage, but um, you get the logistics of what the car looks like. All right, so I can't go too far out just because I don't have on shoes and it's cold out here and I'm already sick, but this is the car. And I know when I showed you guys, um, that little piece in the center there was not there, but he, I guess he added it back, I don't know. These are the chargers, they're not done. He said he was gonna do them today, he hasn't done them. So hopefully they get done this weekend. <laughs> But yeah, I think that was everything I had to show. Um, I didn't want this last vlog to be like super, super long and super, super long-winded. Um, but I pretty much got everything done for the wedding. Um, I guess I could show you guys like the menu cards and um, let you guys see what they're going to look like really quick before I close out the vlog. Um, but other stuff will be in the week, the day, um, what am I trying to say? The week of wedding vlog. Um, so you guys will see a lot more stuff in that one leading up. So you'll see me doing different stuff for the wedding. Um, you'll see me making the hot chocolate, um, hot chocolate flavors and all of that stuff. The plan was to already have all that stuff in this vlog, but unfortunately it didn't work out like that. Um, like I say, I was gonna do all of that stuff Monday, but then I ended up getting sick over the weekend. So it just kind of like pushed everything to the side for me. And I wasn't able to do half of the stuff that I wanted to do. Um, so yeah. As promised, here's the menu cards. Um, so this is how they look. I think I'm doing the four by eight or something i don't know but i was gonna get initially printed from canva because i love the way they had printed the um me not the me the invitations but i can't seem to get this size so i'm gonna just have to take it to a local shop and get it printed um this is our menu what we're having at the wedding so yeah 
I'm gonna get the menu cards printed this weekend. I'm still debating, like really, really debating about doing um, the iSpy game. And I was just gonna put it on the back side of it. So like how I showed you guys how the invitations was, I was thinking about doing that with the menu cards where it would like you flip it over and you'll see the game. <laughs> But then if I do the iSpy game, then I would have to get, like, uh, film cameras, like the ones where you can go take it to, like, Walgreens or something and get the pictures printed. That type of stuff, the old-fashioned way, um, because I know that most people that I'm probably inviting is not going to use the phones. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's just, like, the logistics of everything. Um, but I need to save this while I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Let me save this um template so that i can already have it um but yeah so i am excited y'all like i promise you my mood may not my face may not look like i'm excited i may look like i'm just like exhausted like i got a lot going on but y'all i promise i'm excited it's just that this cold is like really kicking my butt right now i've ordered everything that i need to order Everything else just has to be done in the store at this point, and I just don't have the energy to go do it. Um, we do have to get cake cutting supplies for the cake, but truthfully, y'all, we're about to run some plastic on this because for me, it has to make sense. I was like, neither one of us really eat cake, um, and I'm like, why are we? <laughs> I was going to initially get our names and stuff engraved in all of this. Like, y'all was going all out. But then I had to sit back and think about a lot of stuff because I was just like, Sinead, you're like, you're spending money that could be used for something else. Um, and I was telling myself, like, yo, we need one of us EK. What are we going to do with this after these utensils after we finish? So if y'all see some plastics at this wedding, hey, don't judge us. Just know that sometimes you have to be smart. It's not about being cheap. It's just about being smart about what you want. <laughs> um how you choose to spend your money so yeah um but we're going to do fake wine glasses that look real they look real from target so hey we're gonna go with it um because we're not having alcohol or anything at our wedding um so really it's only us that need it and probably like the two people that's going to do a toast but even then they probably don't even need anything so yeah i'm like Everything is pretty much done, y'all. Like, all vendors are paid off. Everything, like, we have nothing else to do now besides get the flower girl baskets, the rose petals form, which I'm I'm still thinking very hard about that part because I'm just like, who wants to clean that up after? Um, I got the bubbles and, like, I mean, like, what else is there to do at this point? Everything is ordered. We're just literally waiting on everything to come in. And then, oh, yeah, I had to pay... Let me talk about that for a second. I had to pay $200 for two bundles. This was the sale price of everything, which was $200 for two bundles. Like, y'all, <coughs> to me, that is ridiculous. I'm like, so y'all going to see these bundles. Y'all ain't going to see this real hair like that. So get a good look of it now because once these bundles go in next week, Y'all gonna see these bundles more than y'all see my real hair or anything else in my head because two hundred dollars for bundles and then on top of that you have to pay the person to put it in. The shenanigans, the shenanigans. Um, so as you can see, I'm not a person that typically gets like bundles. Um, I'm either a braid person or a crochet person or just wearing my own hair. Um, but we're gonna take advantage of wearing these bundles. Um, especially because it is a sew-in, so we're going to enjoy it. Especially me not doing it to my hair as much, which I know I still got to take care of the bundles, but y'all, like, this is foolishness. This, paying that much for some hair is foolishness to me. But, <coughs> in my preference, I would have rather gotten braids, pay 200 but that included and kept it pushing. But they were like, no, your dress. You need to think about your dress. So I'm thinking about my dress. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah. And then the next other thing that I have to get is jewelry for my dress. I have a headpiece coming too. That's what was on the other that was what else was on the Amazon order. I have a headpiece coming. Um and yeah. 
So I'm excited, y'all. I really am. Like, I swear. Like, I wanted my last wedding vlog to be so exciting. I want you guys to be like, girl, she really, like, is excited. But I really can't show it like I really want to. I can't really raise my voice like I want to. I can't do any of that. Like, all I can do is just be chill, mellow, and just rest. Um, But hopefully the next vlog, which is going to be the week of wedding vlog, hopefully I could be a lot more joyful, a lot more cheerful. I think I made the final decisions on my nails as well. I'm not going to do all these extra designs because I don't want to take away from the ring um whenever we take pictures and stuff um but yeah and oh and last night we did choose like a tablescape so we know what color linen we're gonna use um we're just gonna stick with the one color chargers uh which is black and i do black and white and, <coughs> and we got logistics of how the flowers are gonna look so i'm excited everything is like literally coming together um and i just can't wait for you guys to see all of it put together. I'm truly excited. Um, I finished the wedding timeline, all of the music for the ceremony, the reception, all of it. All of that is done. Like, literally, y'all, it's really nothing else to do but just put the favors together, spray paint the charges, and that's it. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are, well, love the wedding vlogs because this is like the last wedding planning vlog. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed all of them, all five of them. We're going to have that additional one next week, which is going to be the week of the wedding. Um, we're going to probably see the stress is going to come out, the steam that's going to come out, the frustration, all of it. Um, and then, of course, the wedding series will not be done. I'm going to talk about how much we spent, budgeting, all of it, like the things we had to think about when it came to money, all of it. Y'all, like, I'm literally going to break everything down in that wedding video. Um, and it's going to be, um, our wedding budget. So, um, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs. I hope it was helpful to anybody that is a DIY bride and is planning to plan their own wedding and to do, um, DIY stuff for their wedding. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you know somebody that's planning a wedding, that's doing what I'm doing, make sure you share my videos with them so that they can watch them. They can get ideas, all of the good stuff. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed everything, and I love you guys, and I can't wait till next week. We have 10 more days. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, the process is almost over with, y'all. Um, But I love you guys, and make sure you subscribe. See you on the next video. Peace. Peace.